good morning class how are you i hope all are well so in this class i'm going to teach you that is english literature oxford reading circle five so here is a one poem i will recite the poem i will analyze i will research and i will give you the question answer also i will give you some word meaning i will explain about the word meaning and how you recite the poem so make sure you have textbooks you have pencil and paper you need to write you need to make a note it can help you guys after class you can review you can check you can read alone if you are online students whenever you need practice it can help you guys so let's get started so let's get started 19 page number 156 the lake isles of inish free all right i hope you have book and you open your book and this is the poem here is a writer a writer here is a william butler year so first we need to know about the writer right so william butler years 1865 to 1939 was born in country dublin ireland he was fascinated from an early age by irish folklore Years lived for long periods of his life in London. He was, uh, he won the Nobel Prize in 1923. Sorry, guys, here is a mistake. Not uh, 23. 1923. He died in France. Years said he wrote the Lake Isles of Inishfree when reminded of the holidays of his childhood by a novelty fountain in the window of a shop in Fleet Street, London. All right, so you know that, know about the writer. So let's go to the poem. So this is the poem, Lake Isles of Inishfree. I will arise and go now, for always night and day. I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's grey, I hear it in the deep heart's core. So first we will read the poem and analyze. And here is some word meaning. First we will read the word meaning. That is important, guys. So here is the Inish free. I will arise and go now and go to Inish free. So Inish free is a place in Ireland and a small cabin built there a clay and wattles made so how about wattles that is the difficult word wattles is a material such as branches and twigs which are used to make a fence or wall and here is another word meaning be loud so be loud loud is a uh, with the sound of buzzing bees glade so glade is a an area in a wood or forest without trees or bushes cricket so cricket is a leaping insect that um, that produces a chirping sound by rubbing its four wings together so here's a all and i shall have some peace therefore peace comes dropping slow dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings their midnights all a glimmer so here is a also another word that is the linnet so linnet is a small brownish bird okay so i think that's the word meaning here and here is a hard core so here is another word hard core that is the central or most important part of something so first you need to read the poem you analyze here is a sum whenever you recite the poem there is a some up and down sound you will be go up and sometimes is some feelings there whenever you read the poem so let's here you go the lake isles of inish free william butler years i will arise and go now and go to Inish Free, and a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there ha 
hive for the honeybee and leave alone in the bee loud glade and I shall have some peace there for peace comes dropping slow dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings their midnights all a glimmer and noon a purple glow and evening full of linnets wings I will arise and go now, for always night and day. I hear lake water lapping with low sounds for the shore, while I stand on the roadway or in on the pavement's gray. I hear it in the deep heart's core. So here is the meanings guys you need to practice meaning is very important word meaning so number one that is inish free a p a place in what is the place ireland waters that is the material and be loud that is the loud with sound buzzing be glade an area in a wood or forest without trees or bushes cricket a uh, leaping insect that produces a chirping sound, linnet uh, that is the songbird, core, the center that is the central or most important part of something. So number one question for if you read the question answer, it can help you to understand the poem summary of the poem. What's the about? all about the poem number one question that is what are the simple things that the poet wants to do in inish free number one what are the simple thing the poet wants to go to inish free and build a small cabin with clay and what else he wants to grow nine rows of beans and have a high for the honeybees there that means it's a nice beautiful natural place and question number two that is clues what clues are there in the poem to tell us that the poet has set his mind on doing this so the poet lives in the city and is perhaps tired of the noise and gray surroundings so he dreams of living in inish free surrounded by nature number three why do you think the poet dreams of inish free the poet hears the lake water lapping night and day he hears it deep in the core of his heart Next question, here is a phone number. What are the following uh, are described? Here is a morning. How about morning, midnight and evening? This is a different type of situation. Time will change the nature also. So, uh, for example, as a veils of morning, the mist and fog in the morning is like a veil. And midnight, midnight's all a glimmer. That means morning is a shining and the lake sparkles with the reflection and evening full of linear's wings the evening is a different situation dark in the evening the sky is full of linear's on their own way home to their nest and when does the poet hear the water of the lake i will arise and go now is a definite decision which the poet re reiterates at the end of the poem the peaceful nature images he can hear and see even amidst and hustle and bustle of the city so here's a reference to context that is the read these lines from the poem then answer the question and evening full of the linear's wings that is i already given the information what other times of the day does the poet describe what does he say about this so the poet describes morning noon midnight times apart from the evenings and peace drops slowly and permitting through the 
moist morning time mostly sorry mistly mistly morning into the time when the cricket sings and midnight is not dark but shining the lake water glimmering with the reflection of the moon the moon tinged, tinged with the purple of the sun about to set what are linnets so i already given linnets is a small brownish songbirds does the poet mean that the linnets are big linnets are not big but many the evenings full with noise of the linnets flapping wings retreating to their nest that is the uh, that is the insect i hear it in the deep heart's core what does the poet heart so the poet hears the sound of the lake water lapping night and day what is meant by deep heart score that is i already told you the deep heart score refers to the innermost part of the self so guys go through your textbooks you read the poem see the picture there is some diagram it can help you to understand because uh, some stu some students asked me question on in my um, uh, comments box there is a, what's the summary of the poem what's the meaning of the poem uh, so so here whenever you read the poem again and again you analyze you do some research you write down the answer it can help you to understand guys other is I hope that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video keep watching and keep practicing and good luck your english language test thank you so much guys